Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Head Chef Mom. I'm Kendall Lawrence, and I am so excited to share an amazing recipe with you today. We are going to make some catfish stew. Yes, I said catfish stew. This recipe is awesome, and it can be um, eaten any time of the year because it's hearty, yet light, and most amazingly delicious. I really wish that you could come and share this recipe at my table. So come on, let's take a look at the ingredients. Okay guys, here are the ingredients for our catfish stew. So of course I have some catfish here. I have some large chunks of catfish. I have one small red bell pepper and a small green bell pepper that I've chopped up. I have half of a large red onion chopped up. I have two stalks of celery chopped up. I have some match stick carrots, about a cup. And I have some garlic cloves here. Um, that would be to taste, but I crush them with my uh, garlic press. I have some fresh basil leaves that I plucked off my very own plant. I have one medium diced tomato. I have a little bit of tomato paste in my tube that I'm going to try to squeeze the last of out. I have a can of crushed tomatoes, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I have some Old Bay seasoning, some pepper, some salt, some chicken broth, about a, a, a quarter cup of uh, dry white wine. I have some cayenne pepper and I have some fennel seed. So let's go ahead and get started putting this together. Okay, so in my pot, I have about a tablespoon of butter and about two tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm sauteing my bell peppers, celery, carrots, and onion until it softens up for just a couple minutes. And I'm gonna also add my garlic. Let's not forget the garlic. And I'm gonna saute this until it softens up, probably about four or five minutes. So we're about three minutes into sauteing, and now I want to add my tomatoes because they don't take as long to cook as the other hard vegetables. And I'm gonna add my torn up uh, basil leaves and saute this for another minute or so. Okay, so it's been about another minute and I've sauteed it up and it's, everything has softened up nicely. I'm going to add my seasonings. So I'm going to add about two tablespoons of Old Bay, about a tablespoon of cayenne pepper, and about a teaspoon of the fennel seeds. You don't want to add too many fennel seeds because it's got a really licorice taste. And, and it, you, if you like fennel, add more or less. Okay, so my seasonings are going in and you know you start out small with your seasonings and then you'll taste as you go along so I am going to now add my crushed tomatoes this is a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes and I'm gonna squeeze in my uh, tomato paste and this doesn't look like very much I think it's probably gonna be about two tablespoons full if I had more I'd use probably about six or maybe three ounces but you can just eyeball that Okay, so I've been letting this kind of cook away for just a couple of minutes and I've turned my eye down and I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of my, a quarter cup of white wine and I have a 32 ounce carton of uh, chicken broth here and let's see, I'm just going to do this by eye. Let's see what we're looking like in terms of consistency. I like this consistency. So I, I use um, less than half. A little over one fourth, but less than half of a 32 ounce carton and just get it to the consistency or the thickness that you like. And this is like kind of soupy. I want it that way. If you want it more thick, then add less. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this just kind of simmer away for the next 10 or 15 minutes. And then we'll come back and taste for seasoning. And then we'll add our fish. This comes together really, really quickly. The fish will only take about four or five minutes to cook because, you know, fish cooks quickly. So we'll be back. Okay, guys, so my um, sauce has been simmering now for about, I guess, about six or seven minutes. And... I took a taste and the vegetables are still firm and I don't want my vegetables to get really, really soft. So you will let them simmer until the vegetables get to your desired tenderness. I don't like really soft vegetables, but after I tasted, I determined that my um, sauce needed a pinch of sugar and you know, sugar kind of balances out the acidic nature of the tomatoes. So I'm putting a pinch of sugar in there and now <clears throat> 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add my fish to the mix and, and give it a stir. All right, so my fish is in there nicely. And now this is only going to take about four or five minutes max. This fish will cook quickly. This is a hearty, delicious, delicious stew that you can eat any time of year. It's light, so it works well in the summer. It works well in the winter. And I know that I like comfort food year round. I am not going to eat a salad every day just because it's summer. Okay, this is light. It's delicious and it works well all year round. Okay, let's let this cook and we'll be back to taste. Oh my, here's my amazing catfish stew, guys. Doesn't that look a marvelous? It does, it looks so marvelous. And I wanna give credit to uh, a channel called Ms. Brazil. Uh, Ms. Brazil was the one that encouraged me to cook this. She did um, some fried catfish in her air fryer that she uses. She cooks up some serious stuff in that air fryer. She does a whole lot of good stuff over there at her channel. And I'll leave a, cha uh, a link to Ms. Brazil's channel. But let's go ahead and um, and dig into this and I want to say that I cook this for about five minutes and then I let it just sit for about 10 minutes to let the fish absorb all of that wonderful flavor so I'm going to give this a taste get a nice piece of fish and some veggies and you, you know you can eat this a lot of people eat this with rice if you want to keep it low carb then just eat it like this and this is the way I'm going to eat it today mmm wow that is so fantastic. You got to make this. You really do. Again, it'll go really wonderful with rice. I even think it would go good with elbow macaroni, although I've never done it that way. But this is really wonderful, down-home, good comfort cooking. I think that um, Juanella, 1946, he would approve of this. He'd give me a thumbs up on this one. So um, Juanello, he has a channel that is dedicated to everything fish and he knows so many wonderful fish recipes. So go check out Juanello 1946 as well. And I'll also put a link to his channel. And I want you to comment, like, subscribe, share, and go feed your family. Love you guys. Bye-bye.